guys. Um, so as I was saying in the first video, um, my buddies came over and they were staying the night to see if they would experience kind of the same stuff or different things. So my buddy John was in the old, the my grandpa's old room um, where I was the night before. Um, and then my friend Nick was in my room um, sleeping. Um, and I was in the other room. So we were all doing our light inv investigations before we went to sleep, right? Um, and uh, John said he experienced a, a, a fainted cry or a whisper from a little girl, um, which that was something that I didn't experience in the room. But he said he kind of got it recorded. He kept asking questions. He kept saying, are you okay? It's okay I'm, if you want to talk, if you want to say something. Uh, you know, I'm here. Are you looking for your parents? That kind of thing. And um, the crying stopped. But, uh, and then I, I didn't really get anything in the living room um, when I was doing my investigations. Um, but um, we hear Nick freaking out in my room. Um, not freaking out. At, uh, about something he was freaking out at the spirits um, he was trying to provoke and you can do that right but you gotta be I mean it you're you're inviting a whole different thing if you're provoking um, and he was swearing up a storm he was calling it out he was calling it a coward uh, blah 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 why are you afraid come on do something to me and and uh and we had to regroup right i told nick i'm like you you realize i sleep here right like all the time you're just here for the night whatever so you're inviting something and i could get you know whatever right um i i could be in trouble if you invite some evil in and um and um Thankfully, that didn't happen uh, that l later that night. Um, but a few days later, my buddy John and my friend Corbin came over, and we were watching a movie called uh, Red Rose. I can't, I, I, I'll, I can't explain the movie plot very well. But let's just say it has to do with um, a lady spirit. She was a maid back in her time, Victorian time. And she was killed or raped and killed by a man. And so she, her spirit haunted this mansion that she used to live in. And she would, like, kill uh, any male uh, guys who came in that mansion um, with, like, the new owners. Uh, like, she would protect the new uh, women owners, basically. It's hard to explain, right? I if you guys know the movie and know the plot, please leave the comments below and explain a little bit more because I'm having a rough time remembering it. But what um happened was that um the girl, the 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 spirit maid lady, um she would possess um the male guys in the movie. Um, and what happened to me was, um, I, I had to get up to go to the bathroom at that point. Um, at the, I had to go use the restroom. Right. And so I'm standing up, I'm walking, um, mind you, we were watching this movie in my, my room, my very small room. Um, the three of us or the two of us. Yeah. The three of us in one room. Crazy. Um, and what happened was I, I walked to the dresser that's right before my, my door to go out. And um, I start shaking. So, like, I'm experienced. I'm, I'm seeing that I'm shaking like crazy, right? Um, and my eyes started to phase over or gla get glaze over. You know how you get that? If you've ever fainted before, you get that, that feeling of, uh, of the blurriness and you it's just gray um that happened right um i was seeing that my eyes were kind of phasing over and then i was still shaking i saw my hands kind of grab onto my um 
dresser in front of me. And like two, three minutes later, I don't remember anything during that uh, except for those leading up to it. And afterwards, um, I woke up um, to, I had a pillow in my hand and uh, um, my buddy John was trying to kick, he was kicking me away. So basically, I was trying to hurt or <laughs> kill him. Sorry, I don't mean to laugh at that. That was bad. I, I, um, I was, I couldn't believe it. Like I woke up, and I, I had the pillow in my hand, and I'm like, dude, what? Why are you kicking me? What happened? He's like, dude, you don't remember? And I, I see Corbin on the other side of the hall, freaking <laughs> hiding. He's freaking out about me, and um, I it, I couldn't believe it. My 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 friend John was like, "Dude, you were gonna kill me, man! You were possessed." I was like, "Are you serious?" He's, he's like, "Do you remember kind of shaking a little bit?" I'm like, "Kind of, sort of." I I got up to go to the bathroom. He's like, "Well, yeah. After you did that, you started shaking the whole like." dresser in your room started shaking the building or started shaking the house and me and Corbin left the room and I came to sit up on the couch thinking that you know you're gonna be okay in a few minutes whatever you come out with a pillow and you're trying to like suffocate me I'm like dude that is effed up and I'm like what do you think caused that and she's like Nick remember Nick a couple days ago provoking the spirit uh he he was calling it out he was he was asking it to do something and it didn't do anything to him but you're the one that's in this house and it possessed you so i i couldn't believe it guys and that's what i mean by the difference of a ghost a ghost is is a a person it it was a person and it's looking for answers. It's confused, or it's scared, or it's lost. Uh, demons are what possess. Uh, they they possess you. They take over you, and they control you. And sometimes, if it's bad enough, you may not get out of that. Um, so, um, and then some other stuff that I've experienced. Um, that the possessions and everything that stopped because we stopped doing the investigations after that. I'm like, okay, we we need to chill. We're we're done. I'm not gonna do that at my house. I don't want anybody to hurt my dad or my mom or whatever. So, and me, of course. Um, and I I mean I I couldn't believe that happened. I really couldn't believe that happened. Um. All right, so as I was saying, sorry, my dog decided to join me in this conversation a little bit. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> um, so the neck, so a few years after we stopped doing that, um, my buddy Aaron and I and his, uh, mom, uh, his dad, we went to uh, Fort Snelling, just uh, us three, we were, and this is the historic site that I was talking to you about uh, in my Halloween video. Um, we go, and this is this is a historic site. This is a war site. This is where battles used to happen. This certain areas were where the soldiers would hide if they were really under attack. Um, they had jails there. They had all. Kind, I mean, it was it was crazy, right? Um, it's it was so cool. I'm into that historical stuff. Um, I like I said, I want to check out lighthouses out here in California because I know they're haunted. Uh, I want to check out um, Alcatraz, um, you know, stuff like that. But anyways, um, this historic site was really intriguing, right? And we were just walking around. It was merely just us for a while. There wasn't too much of a crowd. Um, it was. It, it's a seasonal place, so it's only open during the summer and the fall, and then it closes. Um, and so, uh, anyways, we 
we went and um, the first thing we do is we walk around. We actually walk through all the buildings um, the first time as soon as we arrive. And then we walk around the back and um, we see these little uh, uh, earthquake type tornado uh, hideout things where you, can, you go in. You can go downstairs, like you, you see steps that lead down under. Uh, I can't, I forget the name of those. Um, but so we go under and we're just kind of kidding around thinking, yeah, you know, woo, yeah. Um, and from the light, we see picnic tables down below. So we know that it used to be a hideout area for soldiers and stuff. And there's actually a kitchen in there and stuff. But uh, we, we went to actually leave we him and i we went to go back and head out and his dad decided to uh shut the door on us and lock it from the outside so we were locked inside and uh we were like okay this is uh not cool uh and he wasn't gonna open until we kind of just checked out the air it did some stuff so he was actually kind of um um trying to he was, he was encouraging us to go and see if we could find things. So we actually go down the steps. We, From the glare of the light from the what we see from the door um, was kind of glaring on a table. So we were able to see two tables and a kitchen. And the kitchen was locked off with uh, uh, um, uh, um, it's, it, it, with the chain, so a uh, lock and chain. So it was... It was locked, so nobody could get a, go in there. Um, and so I suggested to him, let's let's see what we can find out. Um, you stay on one side of the picnic table, or the table, I'll stay on the other. We'll just ask questions. So we started asking questions. I was asking if, uh, hey, we just, we mean you no harm. Know that we're here just to check out the place. Um, and we, if you're, working or whatever please don't shoot us that you know just to kind of ease our way into what was going on and so we weren't harmed or beaten up by an, an unforeseen spirit um spirits because it's it's a historic place it was a war place so there'd be soldiers there um but anyway so my buddy Aaron, he was like, he's like, is there anybody here with us? First off, let us introduce ourselves. And we said, we mean you no harm. And we we're just, we want to ask a few questions. Um, we're, we're new soldiers too. We're coming into this and we have a lot of questions, that kind of thing. Um, so... Um, what happened was uh, my buddy Aaron, he, he asked if you're a girl or if there's any girls in here, can you somehow show your presence? And no girls were in there. It was guys. Um, we, we experienced rattling. Um, the chain that was on the door to the kitchen, to the stove was locked and it was rattling. Something was grabbing it. Um, and it wasn't my buddy because he wasn't even near the door. I can kind of see a sh like the glare was for the door, and he wasn't even near it. So something was sh rattling it, and no winds get wind, no winds down there. Um, so that's another thing. Um, so like, oh my gosh, something just rattled that do uh, door. Um, I'm like that. That's that's kind of cool, right? Um, so what I did was I, I asked, um, are you, are you hiding from something or are you guys, are we like, um, just eating, you know, that kind of thing. And, um, if, if we're eating, um, can you tap my shoulder or whatever? Um, if we're, we're hiding, can you do something else? And, um, we actually... In between us, um, the the table was slapped. 
All right, uh, guys, I'm going to have to continue this story in another video. I'm running out of time here. Catch you in a minute.